Hi, everyone, and welcome to the Racing One Report. This weekend, the NASCAR Spring Cup Series heads to Michigan International Speedway for the LifeLock 400. Ever since the track's first cup race in 1969, the two-mile speedway has been the site of some exciting racing that produces three and sometimes four wide competition in its long, sweeping turns. Through the years, some of NASCAR's greats have visited Victory Lane in the Irish Hills of Michigan, starting with eight-time Michigan winner Cale Yarbrough taking the checkered flag in the first race. Roush Fenway Racing has been one of the strongest teams at Michigan, boasting 10 cup victories. Carl Edwards is the latest to go to Victory Lane after taking his second victory at the track last August. Not only does Edwards like going to Michigan because of his statistical record there, but also because of what's in the backyard of the Speedway. Michigan's fun. I mean, it's right in uh, Ford Motor Company's backyard, Roush Industries' backyard, so I like going there. The track's fun. The atmosphere's fun. You know, people talk about fun racetracks to camp at and uh, fun racetracks for the fans. Michigan's got to be right up there at, uh, at the top with the... Uh, you know, with places like Talladega and Texas. I mean, it's a, it's a cool place. Also in action this weekend at MIS is the ARCA Remax Series and NASCAR Camping World Truck Series. Both are sure to provide great action, just like the Spring Cup Series. In fact, five of the Truck Series races have been decided by less than a second. Elsewhere in the racing world, the NHRA Full Throttle Drag Racing Series will be in action at Old Bridge Township Raceway Park in Englishtown, New Jersey. Auto Club Road to the Future Rookie of the Year candidate Spencer Massey heads into the weekend on the heels of his first top fuel victory last weekend at the Route 66 Raceway. Massey, who won the IHRA Top Fuel World Championship in 2008, says nothing compares to winning in the NHRA, and he hopes to go back-to-back -back on Sunday in his Don Prudhomme-owned Top Fuel Dragster. Don't get me wrong, the IHRA Championship is unbelievable to win. It's a top fuel category, no matter if it's NHRA or IHRA. But I've been watching NHRA people uh, races since I was four years old. Been going to the drag races, been uh, wanting to drive a top fuel dragster in the NHRA circuit, like Eddie Hill, like Joe Amato, like Don the Snake Perdome, since I was, well, since I was born, since I was four years old, since I went to a drag race. As a matter of fact, I was at the Texas Motorplex in 1994 when I, and I watched Don the Snake Perdome win his last top fuel race that he ever won, and I was on the starting line just as a spectator, and he's giving me high fives. And, and, and then as I get hired by him, I'm like, I couldn't believe it. I was there for your first win, you know, like as a spectator, and you're giving me high fives and, you know, unbelievable in the winter circle. Make sure you keep it here at RacingOne.com this weekend for all the latest from around the racing world and to keep you up to date on what else is going on here at RacingOne.com, here's a look at this weekend's racing calendar.